So we're in Grenada now. Um, I think it's. We'd go from here to Karaoke. Need to stop in Karaoke to get diesel and then on to Beckway. So we clear out Karaoke. Clear in at Beckway. In at Beckway. Then Sanusha, but we won't, I won't clear in. We'll just no, anchor just... and carry on. Yeah. Then Martinique to maybe get some <laughs> stores. Two days to Martinique. Then Dominica and Guadeloupe will skip. And go straight to Antigua, and that'll be an overnight passage. Yeah. Um, and then we'll have two or three days to recover. In Antigua. And in yeah, in Antigua. So that's a four-day passage, and then four days to Anguilla. But we need to check Anguilla because I'm not sure what the status of the country is after the hurricane. Or San Martin. San Martin. Oh yeah, San Martin. We're going to meet yeah, Martin hopefully. Yeah, going to see Martin then. And stop there for a couple of days. So again, it's an overnight plus a, plus a few days. days to recover. So four days for that. And then the BVIs. Um, four days to Tortola, mm -hmm. and then then the biggie. Then we've got um, 400 nautical miles to the first stopping point, which would be Turks and Caicos. But, but maybe we don't. It depends how knackered we are. That's a 400 nautical mile trip. Yeah. The Turks and Caicos Islands from uh, the BVIs. Yeah, but that we should have the wind behind us mm -hmm. and half a, knot of current. half a knot of current tide helping us, current helping us. Um, and then we'll start our cruise from there into the Bahamas, which will be, we can pretty much day hop mm -hmm. all the way up to the south, which work, work for our appointment for our American visas. Yeah, but we're going to allow like 21 days sort of transiting the Bahamas and then another seven days to wait for our yeah our um, visas maybe not quite that much because that's a whole month and I don't think yeah. we can just afford to spend that much time plus, six. plus we're gonna have to say 30 we'll go on then yeah. so it's a month and a half. yeah exactly a month and a half so that'll be the end so that'll be the beginning of April That'll be, yeah, the end of March. Which is about the soonest I'd want to cross to the States because it's, the, you know, the weather improves from sort of April onwards. Yeah, then if we did Grand Bahama Island straight up to like somewhere near Hatteras and go in the ICW there. Yeah, I'd want to enter south of Hatteras just right. because it's a bit of a black spot. North, probably north of Cape Fear though. So, yeah. Maybe Wilmington, I don't know. Mm. You could say, but if I said it, if I said it 200, because I reckon 150, 160, because we've got the current with us, we've got two to four knots of Gulf Stream yeah. behind us. Okay. Providing you don't get the problem is if it's in it's April we could, get a, we could get a northerly blow in April against the Gulf mm. Stream, and that'll be an absolute. Well, you just don't do it then, do you? No, you just have to dive in somewhere. Uh, okay, so one, that's uh, 24 hours, one, 48 okay. hours. So it's three days it's th to there. It's three days to there, four and a half days to just Chesapeake. So we're getting ready to leave uh, Grand Ants, just off St George in Grenada. Um, it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning and we're going to uh, carry a coup today. There's no wind at the minute, um, but we're just looking forward to getting out of this anchorage because it's, it's really rolly. We've had sort of a half night's sleep, really broken sleep. Um, should take us most of the day. We're going to be beating into the weather. Um, but yeah, we're hoping the wind fills in and comes from a, a more easterly direction. Just leaving Grenada, and we've got about an eight-hour um, sail to Karaku. But at the moment we are motoring, as you can hear, because there's not much wind. Um, and what's going on with the tides? Um, we are unfortunately going to catch the tides between the islands. It's going to push us off to the west, um, which means 
Well, until about two o'clock in the afternoon, and then they'll start bringing us back on on the course. So. Yeah. So, but we don't think we can properly sail until we sort of clear yeah. the top of the island. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we didn't stop at Kauke on the way down, um, and it'd be nice to you know, stop it on the way back, and we'll clear out from there, and then we'll clear back into um, St. Vincent and Grenadines in Beckway. Yeah. So this marks the start of our turnaround, and we're well, heading up to the east coast. Uh, so rough and so long. But, um, no one's been up to transit the islands for a while. But now we've got lots of boats. All heading up north. And it's a bit rough still. Get a bit wet. Uh, yeah. Just put a brief in. It's pretty windy around this point. <laughs> totally dumped by a wave. So, I don't know if you can see that, but that pretty much sums up our day. We had to um, motor sail all the way up hugging the coast of uh, Grenada, and then at the point where we left the coast, which is the inner course, at that point there we started to sail, and it looked pretty good to start with. Um, but then the wind got flakier and flakier, and we ended up doing this massive zigzag. Um, and then after uh, about, about three o'clock in the afternoon, we gave up. You can see where we turned the motor on. Motor, 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 motor. Sail, 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 sail. Tack, 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 tack. Uh, motor. <laughs> So we're just leaving uh, Karaoke this morning, we stopped here for two nights, uh, we didn't really do much, we just went to Customs and Immigration, which is at the boatyard, and cleared out, um, got some fuel, dinghy fuel, and um, had a few beers yesterday and just chilled out really. So we are on our way today to Beckway, it's 60-ish miles, um, we're going to have to do a big tack out and then in to get a good enough angle in the wind because our trip here was obviously quite bumpy and uncomfortable so I'm hoping today is going to be a bit better and the swell may have dropped off a little bit as well. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Can't 
Yeah, yeah absolutely. Fairly powerful one. Yeah. There's me saying, oh, I think the worst of it's passed. Yeah, I think just the, most of the rain's gone by, but yeah. not wind filling in the under. <laughs> well, started off sublime, yeah. ten minutes later, it's like, after it's packaged it down. Got rid of some of the salt though, hey? Um, and we were able to keep almost directly north course um, all the way up to beyond level with Beckway um, but we can't make the easting because the winds sort of east northeast so we throw in a towel and the engines on and we're just the main up full main in 25 knots but um, tightened right in so it's almost flat um, it's pretty bouncy but we should be in in a couple of hours I think I've just got doused in uh, waves so many times today that my, my t-shirt's dried stiff with salt in the sun. Nicky's not very happy. No, I'm fine. It's just very bumpy, very jarring. It is. We've got so massive crashes of waves.
what a day. Well, we're here at Beckway. Um, um, there's some really, really, really strong gusts here again, like there was last time we were here. Um, but the anchor seems to be set nicely, so hopefully we won't move. Um, we're not going to go ashore tonight anyway. We're too tired, and oof, the boat is just thick with salt, so we just really need to give it a clean down, cook some food, have a glass of wine, and chill out, really. <laughs> Well, that was a long, boring day, really, just battering into the trade winds. Um, we've just got in and anchored. Uh, we're quite a long way back in the anchorage, so we're, we're exposed to quite a lot of wind here. Um, but it's, I don't think you can see behind me, there's hundreds, hundreds of boats in here. It's really busy, um, probably because it's so windy. Um, but, yeah, we're glad to be in. Um, not looking forward to any more passages quite like that one. That was quite hard work, hard on the boat, hard on us. And, um, yeah, we're trying to figure out, I'm not even sure, I'll have to look at, look at the chart, which is the first of the Leeward Islands. Uh, obviously, we're in the Windward Islands at the minute. Um, might be Martinique, might be Guadeloupe, but we're looking forward to getting that just that little bit of south in the east wind, because um, that's going to suit Bora Bora a lot better than, uh, than the the northeast of these we've been sort of beating into. Anyway, I'm gonna have a cold beer.